Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back and hello if you're new. My name is Sarah and I'm so glad that you're here today. This is the last video in my Christmas gift guide series of the year and I'm so thankful for all of you who have been enjoying those videos and have just been supporting me and being super super kind. Um, I, if you can't tell, have a lot of congestion still. I got super crazy sick um, kind of over the last bit of the Christmas rush um, and I wasn't able to get the last two videos up because I sounded way worse than this and I felt way worse than this and that was right after my husband had gotten really sick with whatever this gunk is too and so my family was just like take a breath take a breather it's okay you can do it next year so unfortunately I didn't get my last two gift guide series or my two la my last two gift guide videos up for the series but I did however record a lot of my Christmas this year and so I thought about putting together like a little vlog of sorts of um, showing you guys how our Christmas went, us opening presents, our Christmas Eve festivities, what my husband ended up getting, um, watching my girls just be super excited for their gifts and open things up and let me know if you're interested in that um, and I will get it uploaded for you. I don't know if you guys are over Christmas and wanting to move on or you guys are still enjoying watching a lot of those Christmas vlogs and end of year videos in general. So let me know below if that's something you're interested in. Now, if you've been watching my gift guide series for the past number of years, I normally start with my Christmas wish list or what I want for Christmas, and I end the Christmas series with this video, which is what I actually got for Christmas. And a lot of times, those two videos overlap because my Christmas wish list is, in fact, my Christmas wish list, and it's just a bunch of ideas that I would personally love to receive under the tree, but also ideas to share with you guys. Um, and so a lot of times, I end up getting gifted those amazing things that I'm super thankful for. And so um, I can share with you a lot of those things in person. But if you want to see that whole video with all of its links and all of its glory, um, that will, I will have pinned up there for you above. Um, but I'm super excited to share with you guys the things that my sweet family and friends were so kind enough to gift to me. Now, let me just put a disclaimer. These types of videos are really, really fun to watch and I personally enjoy watching them. But I know some people they can rub them the wrong way and I'm in no way, shape or form trying to brag or be like, look at all the amazing things I got or I'm so loved or anything like that. Um, I just love sharing these things with you because it's really fun for me and I know a lot of you guys really enjoy watching them. So this is just like a fun thing, like if we were little kids and you're calling your best friend on Christmas morning and we're like, I got a new Barbie! And they're like, yeah, I got a Barbie too! And you're just really excited about it. That's me doing this as an adult with you guys. So that's my disclaimer. We are now going to just get started in the video. First, I'm gonna share with you different apparel items that I received. So I shared with you guys this particular sweatshirt in that Christmas gift guide and it is from the brand or the shop called Carly Ray Threads. Um, on, I don't think they're on Etsy, I think she's exclusively has her own independent shop, um, but I'm not positive on that. But I bought it off of her own website, and I bought this actually early, and it kind of gifted it to myself, um, because it wasn't going to come in time until closer to Christmas, and I just gave it to my husband, and I was like, wrap this and surprise me. And I was so excited. So she has a bunch of different um, embroidered items on her shop and she's about to release a reputation, um, Taylor's version, whenever we are so lucky to get that uh, launch really soon, which I'm so excited for. But I um, loved this and I needed this because I find very few merch items um, in relation to this song, which is Right Where You Left Me off of Evermore. I love this one so much. Um, I love this color, it's my favorite. I love all greens and so it's super, super cozy and I have been very happy with it. I can't wait to order more from her site. Um, it came well packaged with a sweet little note and actually it came free with a beanie, which I didn't expect and I was so excited about it. Where did I put it? It came with this beanie, which is also embroidered, and it says Taylor Swift is my therapist. And I got this for free, and I was so excited about it. So totally, totally recommend this shop. Um, 
great quality items. I really love it. I can't wait for her reputation launch, but so cute. And then the other sweatshirt that um, I got, which I'm obsessed with, and it's one of my favorite things as well. I wore it out yesterday, so it kind of looks a little dingy already. <laughs> um, but I got this off of Etsy, and because I'm in a bunch of Facebook groups um, about Taylor Swift, <laughs> or romance books, or fantasy books, or whatever, and I, um, a lot of small shops share on there, and I found this on there, and I'm obsessed. I got my best friend, or I shared it with my best friend, and she got one for Christmas, and it's a Basgaith, um War College flight jacket, or sweatshirt, and it has... Wing leader, it's supposed to be Zayden's. Um, and then on the back, it has the dragon tattoo. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It's all embroidered. It's so good. It is so cozy. Um, I absolutely recommend this seller and shop as well. I will have it linked below. This is one of my favorite items. I have like turned into a sweatshirt person. That's all I wanna wear now in the winter. I need this like a t-shirt or something for the like summer days because I am obsessed. I love this so much. It's so gosh darn cute. It exceeded my expectations. Same with this sweatshirt. Um, from my mama, normally she always gets um, everyone a pair of PJs, but this year I wanted something that was more like loungy that I could wear to sleep if I wanted, but also can, you know, be seen out that aren't like radial pajamas that have holes in them, which all mine do. <laughs> um, and so I asked for this little sweat set from Target. This, uh, these are from Universal Thread. I have a pa pair in the white, but this is this really pretty like pale pink color and they're cargos. They're like cargo little joggers. Um, and they're super comfortable and cozy. I think they also have like a matching set for men because I got Jazz a pair for Christmas and he loves them as well. Um, like I said, I have the white pair so I got this pink, I asked for this pink pair and I love them. They're so pretty and happy and pink. And then to go along with it, um, my mom got me this sweatshirt which is a half zip and this is from the All In Motion line. Um, and it's this really pretty like Barbie pink color and I just love this like monochromatic like pink vibe. <laughs> it makes me think of Valentine's Day and bubblegum and Barbie and happiness and so I thought this was super cute. This is really really comfortable on. They have a bunch of different colors and I really want this like green color they have in this. Um, it has like a little full like little pouch, a kangaroo pouch. It's super comfortable. I really really like this. Highly recommend it. Um, I can't wait to wear it out and about when it's even colder out, which is when we start getting, like January, February is when it's coldest here. Um, then this is also from Target, I believe. Um, this is from the brand 33 Degrees, but it's this really cute Valentine's Day sweater and with a bunch of hearts on it and it has like felt little heart buttons. It's so cute. I love Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day my whole life and I love anything that's overly pink and hearts and red and just so happy and so this is so cute. I think this would be adorable with a pair of jeans and cozy little like Uggs or something or little boots and like a really pretty like satin bow tying your hair back. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's adorable. I can't wait to wear this on Valentine's Day. It's so cute. It makes me so happy just to look at. And then um, my husband was so sad about this, <laughs> but he accidentally ordered the extra, extra small in these. So we have to reorder them um, in the larger sizes, but that's okay um, because they are so gosh darn cute. But um, they're the, which I told you guys I wanted these so bad and I'm so excited. Um, but they're these <laughs> shirts, <laughs> they're these shirts. Um, that I was gonna wear as like a little nightgown and this is the lover's opener outfit that Taylor wears on her tour. It's so freaking cute. I love it so much. I put this one down or this one down. I did not expect both but my husband decided to go completely crazy this year um, and spoil me and he got the vigilante one as well and it's absolutely adorable. Um, it even has her mic pack on the back. I just think that's so 
cute. Um, I've seen a lot of people wear these to the Ares tour for dressing up, for sleeping, for having fun in, and I love them. They're from a brand called Dress Up Studios, um, and I randomly stumbled upon them, I think like on TikTok or something, and I was obsessed. And so we're going to reorder um, the larger size, but they are so cute. Um, and they're really, really, really soft, nice quality t-shirts. It's not like um, foil printed or like press on, like this is like full on, dyed on, like really good quality printing that I think will last a really long time. Um, and the shirts are just so soft and comfy and would be perfect for a nightgown, which is what I plan on wearing for, or just, you know, like a little, like a tailor moo moo, if you will. And then lastly, and then lastly, for apparel, um, Santa brought me a giant pack of socks. These were from No Boundaries, and they're so cute. They have like some smiley faces, some um, rainbows, a heart yin-yang, little black pair, butterflies, just really cute, high, uh, little, well, I guess they're shorties, but, it will be high on me because I got short stumpy legs, but cute little crew uh, socks that I really like the little ribbing up at the top. So um, these were from Walmart, I believe. I guess lastly on apparel, we will include this, shall we? Um, I put on a backpack on my uh, gift guide list because last year my husband got me this um, belt bag and I used it from the day he got it for me till just now. Um, and I love this thing. I still highly recommend this. I feel like the, this thing doesn't even look worn. Like I love this belt bag. I will forever love this belt bag. But I wanted something that was a little bit bigger that I could bring more stuff around with me because it got to the point where I was like, this thing was so stuffed full that I had a hard time zipping it. Um, and so I wanted just an easy, cute little backpack. And so there are a bunch of different options um, that I found, but I have a little buzz, hold on. Um, there's a bunch of different options that I found, but um, this is one of them, and it's just a little Herschel black, like canvas style backpack. Um, and it's super cute, has nice big straps. You can adjust them. The inside is, I already put stuff in it, <laughs> um, has these little stripes with a little a nice interior pocket. It's a good size, it fits everything that I need it to. It has a nice front zip. It's super cute and really comfortable and lightweight to wear. It makes me happy. And then, if you guys have watched these gift guide videos or my wish list, I've asked for this sucker for a couple of years now, and I finally got it, and I was so excited to see it on Christmas morning. This is the Lisa Frank wallet from Loungefly. My husband was like, I wasn't sure if this was for you or for the girls, <laughs> but I got it. Um, and I was like, no, it's absolutely for me, because I was a Lisa Frank lover through and through, um, and it's just this adorable wallet that is so gosh darn cute and holographic and makes me so happy. I may be a 30, almost three year old woman, but doesn't matter because I am a happy lady with this thing. Let me show you the inside with tr trying to not to compromise my identity. Um, anyway, it opens up like this, super cute with a little ID heart section. Um, and then there is a spot for cash and then a spot for change and it's absolutely adorable um this was on amazon um and it is so cute okay so the most obvious gift is this bookshelf um that is sitting behind me my husband was super sweet and completely unexpected i had no idea he built it like super super late on christmas eve there was not one sound made i don't know how he did it um, but I have this bookshelf right here that I've had for ever since we've moved in and it's filled and I have loved it. It's from Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart. Um, and I had shared with you guys in my gift guide that this is the shelf that I used um, and that I was planning to expand it because I was running out of space. And he surprised me with a, I'm trying to show you, it on Christmas morning and it even had a little bow. It was so sweet. So that has helped add a lot more space and I'm so excited. And he also gifted me this little, it's technically called a martini table, but I'm using it as my little drink stand to hold my mugs and my snacks when I sit over my big comfy 
lounge chair over here in my little reading nook and read. I haven't had a proper space to hold things and so um, I'm so excited. It's this really beautiful like heavy duty brass um, little side table. It's so cute. It makes me so happy <laughs> and it works perfectly in this space and it's going to just look so cute in my little nook and to go along with that he also got me this really cozy little blanket. It's full of stars. It makes me think of Taylor Swift Midnights and Ravenclaw and a little bit of Alaris and it's super big and cozy. I think this is like a twin size. It does come with a bunch of other colors. Um, I think this is from Amazon. It's something that I did uh, tag in my gift guide and I'm so happy. It's so cozy and cute and I love it. I'm just concerned on how to wash it because the stars are kind of like foiled on there and I'm worried that they'll fall apart so I'm gonna have to read instructions but it had really high reviews so I'm sure that it washes well but anyway it's very very cute and very very cozy. Okay so we are gonna dive into books because I received a bookshelf but my husband made my dream fantasy come to life which was being able to walk in to my library and have a new bookshelf filled with wrapped books that I got to unwrap one by one and I was so excited. At one point I cried. It is now captured on film and <laughs> um, I was just with the absolute best. I just, my heart feels so full and I felt so seen and I can't wait to share with you guys the books because I feel like all I did put on my Christmas list this year was books and books and books and books and books. So real quickly, my brother um, got me these actually. It's the um, Shepherd King series. It's One Dark Window and Two Twisted Crowns. These are beautiful covers. Honestly, I'm kind of going into these blind. A lot of these I'm going to, into these blind. They're just things that were highly rated over and over and over again from a lot of trusted um, like bookish book talkers or bookstagrammers or YouTubers that I like and on Goodreads, but these are beautiful. Um, looking and I think this is just kind of like creepy and gothic and fantastical um, and the lead girl in this is named Elspeth and that's like the coolest freaking name so these are the first two and then he also picked me up this book which is will my cat eat my eyeballs and this book is nonfiction it's not for everyone but this is from Caitlin Dowdy um, she is a author and a mortician and a youtuber and um, she has a bunch of different books out um, that are about mortuary sciences, her life is mortician, um, cremation, just like different traditions, um, global traditions and stateside traditions and everything how we do and um, grieve the dead and just all of it. And I just, I find it fascinating. I've always been really intrigued by mortuary sciences, but even more so after my dad passed away, I don't have the heart for it. I think that my heart would absolutely shatter into a million pieces. I, I just don't think I could actually um, become a mortician but I really really enjoy learning about it so I'm really excited to read this it's a short little a short little guy so um, but I think it's gonna be really good next um, my husband was super sweet and got me a ton of series and so I have quite the amount of uh, or quite a long TBR for 2024 um, he got me the um, I don't know what the series goes by um, I think it's like the Scolo Mans series but it's a dark school of magic and it just is like dark academia magic and wonder and cool like I don't know very much about these again it's another series I'm kind of going in blind but it's one that I've just seen recommended over and over again it gives this very art deco-y dark academia feel to it um, there's three books I think total or maybe just three books so far and I'm really excited but it is the um a Deadly Education, The Last Graduate, and The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. So, I don't know. I'm excited. Kind of going to it in blind. Um, the next series is one that I've been wanting to read for a while, and that is The Twisted series by Anna Wong. And I actually have the first book already that I haven't read yet, so I'm either going to pass it off to a friend or put it into a little library around me um, because I love doing that. And um, this is another series that I feel like people either like really absolutely adore or they do not like, <laughs> but I'm hoping to be um, the the lover of it. Um, there's, like I said, only four books. 
I think they're each standalone but kind of are interwoven and then along that same line and another series by this author are the King series, King of Grief, King of Pride, and King of Wrath. Um, this is another series that is something that's really beloved. I think even more so than the Twisted um, series and they're really short. They're not very long at all. So I think these are things that I can just like zip on through. Um, but I'm excited to read these. This next book was a book that I was going to actually add on add on to my book of the month um, because I chose something different and I regretted it. Um, I think like in October or something when this was featured. But it is What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. Um, this is actually a described as an Indiana Jones-esque adventure uh, novel, which I love adventure series, movies, films, books, like that is my jam. And it centers around Egypt, which is even more my jam. I love Egypt mythology and Egyptology in general. Like I have loved the history of Egypt and learning about Egypt and just everything about Egypt since I was a child. I watched documentaries. My dad and I used to really enjoy stuff like that together. Um, and so and I, you don't see it often featured, I feel like, in a lot of like fiction. And so I was so excited. Um, and so I put this on my list. I'm super excited that uh, he got it for me because I was about to do it with my hat on in my book of the month because I wanted to read it so bad. Uh, but it's called What the River Knows and it just the cover art looks stunning. I'm so pumped. Um, he got me two of the books in the Light Lark series. I think there's only two out as of right now. I do believe this is a YA series as well. Again, kind of going into this blind, it's just another recommendation, but the covers are absolutely stunning, especially this one, The Heart. Ugh, I love it. I love it. I'm super excited. Um, and then another YA novel is Their Vicious Games. This is something that I've heard a lot about and I thought just sounded incredibly interesting. Um, and again, the cover is absolutely stunning. Um, my husband was like, I got this one for you because I thought it looked really cool. <laughs> and he's so right. It looks so cool. And then another YA novel is the second book in the Belladonna series. This is Foxglove. I have Belladonna somewhere up there. Um, and I haven't started it yet, but it's the cover is so pretty. Like, this is just such a pretty cover. But I've heard incredible, incredible things over this series. Um, and so I added it and hopefully I can start it both both books. <laughs> um, next, this is something that I thought just sounded so interesting and I kept on like adding it to my cart to purchase myself and then taking it out and I just, it keeps pulling me back. And so I put it on my Christmas list, um, but it's Masters of Death by Olivia Blake. And she's the author of the Atlas Six series, which I haven't read um, yet. But I, again, it's something that I feel like people either really, really enjoyed or don't love because her writing style is apparently really unique. Um, but I just thought that the like synopsis of this sounded so interesting and so cool and not like anything I've ever read. Um, and so I wanted to give it a little try. Plus the cover is just stunning. It's so pretty. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's just something that's so intriguing about it. It keeps pulling me back. So I'm excited to try that. Um, another series that I have heard nothing but good things is the Chestnut Springs romance series. This is the first book in it called Flawless by Elsie Silver. This was not a series that I planned on really reading, mostly because even though I am a native Texan, cowboy romances don't really do it for me. Like I'm just not, I don't, that's not something that ever draws me in. But I felt like that about sports romances and the amount of hockey romances that I have read in the past like two months is ridiculous. So. I'm giving it a try anyway. Um, I only put the first book on my wish list because I wasn't sure where it would go from there. But again, this is something that I feel like people talk about all the time and say it's incredible. So there's like five books in this series so far, I think. Um, so we will see. Okay, another series that is something that is very talked about, or at least the first one was, is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Um, and then Ruthless Vows. Ruthless Vows literally just came out yesterday. My husband had already purchased it, uh, pre-ordered it for me because it was on my list and had it, it arrived. So I was so excited. I can't wait to read these. Um, I feel like this is another one of the books that's up there with like Fourth Wing um, over like Book of the Year. Um, and I do believe it's like a historical romance, which I don't always have the best luck with. I will be completely honest with you. It's not always my fave genre but I've heard that these are just really enjoyable and easy to follow anyway, um, and really like gut-wrenching and heartbreaking all at the same time, so I'm really excited. Also, the like hard cover 
is stunning like the typewriter i love that i'm sure this would mean a lot more once i read this but i love that i think that's such a pretty just like foiled hardback so i can't wait again this is like a very anticipated book so i'm excited but i've been really nervous and apprehensive to read it i think because i've heard some really heartbreaking just like reviews afterwards so i don't know hopefully hopefully it doesn't tear me up too bad all right um he picked me up this brandon sanderson novel that's called yumi and the nightmare painter which is an absolute like the cover art is stunning brandon sanderson i feel like is revered for his fantasy writing i feel like he's like regarded as one of the best um if not the best and i have been very um, nervous and it's been very daunting to want to dive into his world because there's so many books and it's a lot of world building and I hear it's incredible once you get into it but it's a lot and so he's um, recently published a couple of standalone novels that are actually like bridging in towards more romance things which I totally has my name written all over it there's one that he um, published before this one I believe I think it's called Tress in the Emerald Sea and it's like loosely based off of the princess bride and he wrote them for his wife and i just think it's like the sweetest thing ever and so that had me but this the cover of this is just like stunning so i'm really really excited we'll see how i feel about brandon sanderson and if i go from there into his work okay the second to last series is another one that i have heard incredible things and one that I'm so excited and pumped to read and that is the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. Um, this I feel like is something that I've heard specifically this year has been like people's all-time favorite series or books they've ever read, favorite books they've ever read of all time, all of those sorts of things and so I'm very excited. I do believe this is like kind of loosely sci-fi which is not normally my thing at all um but it was something that was like you still gotta go for it you still gotta read it everyone needs to read it so put it on my list i'm really excited i have heard that red rising is like hit or miss for some people but to continue to push through so we'll see because especially the last one dark age that's a that's a big boy so we'll see but i'm still excited <laughs> a little intimidated but excited and then last but certainly not least and the thing that actually brought me to tears in my um video and dirt on Christmas morning was this which was my most wanted item and I was so excited to open it and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I love all of her other works. I read all of her other work. Um, this is the one series that I have not committed to reading yet because again this is another series that I know eventually rips your heart apart but is a huge epic and adventure and amazing and incredible. And I knew that before the third Crescent City comes out, which comes out next month, and honestly, to be completely frank, I don't think I'll be able to finish all these in before that, but still, um, her books interweave and interconnect. And so I wanted to read Throne of Glass and really just like dive in um, to this world. And I've just been so excited and nervous all at the same time, but, I cried <laughs> and I'm so excited. Um, this, I, she recently like um, redid the covers or her publishing cover company did. Um, and I don't know where this one is from because I don't feel like these are like the US looking ones that I've seen all over, but I just thought these were really cool and a little bit more dark and moody, a little bit more cohesive looking than the other sets. Um, and so I put this particular one on my Amazon wish list. Um, or on my Christmas wish list, and it was from Amazon. So I, I still, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, that is it for books. We're moving on to more like fun things that are like um, crafty related hobby things. I've said this before, but I get really bad seasonal depression. Um, Mid-January is when it normally sets in, and so I look for things to just kind of like keep my mind busy and motivate me. So books are definitely something along that route that I really enjoy, but I also look doing crafty things or hobbies and so I put one of these on my wish list and was so excited when our family friend gifted this to me. It's a magic book house DIY wooden book nook. So it's like a book nook that you create, a little puzzle-esque if you will. It looks so cool. I'm so excited. This will definitely be something that will be enjoyed with an audiobook just slapped on my ears and going to town. Um, also, 
along the same route as diamond painting. <laughs> I've been wanting to do diamond painting for such a long time and then I gifted my oldest some diamond painting things for her birthday and I was doing them with her and it was so much fun that I wanted my own things. So Santa was sweet enough to stock my stocking with some diamond painting things. This one is, I think it's actually of Hogwarts, but it is, I feel like elusive enough to be Hogwarts. It could also be uh, Baz Gaius War, Baz Gaius War College, whatever. I just think it's super cool and I cannot wait to do it and listen again to audiobooks while I do so. And then these are a bunch of different bookmarks that um, you diamond dazzle, if you will. And I'm really excited to start that. My husband is always so sweet and always gifts me some beauty items. And this year was no exception. He gifted me two rare beauty items. This is the Positive Light Under Eye Brightener, which I've been wanting to try for quite some time. And then this is the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter, but unfortunately it shattered. So we have to take it back um, and exchange it for a new one. Um, but I love Rare Beauty. I tried to, started uh, wearing them last year and have since expanded my collection. It's a great line, Selena Gomez's. It's beautiful. Um, the hype is aptly hyped, I guess I would say, but this is the um, positive light under eye brightener. And again, it's something that I've heard nothing but good things about. I would open up the highlighter, but I don't want it all over me. Um, and then he picked me up this, Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. I've seen this all over TikTok. Um, I bought him a number of Good mo Molecules items as well. You can buy them at Ulta or off Amazon. They're inexpensive and good quality skincare. Um, but this is just supposed to be something that you can help you puff and kind of brighten your under eyes. Um, I feel like this will work really well kept in a skincare fridge or just kept in your fridge when it's nice and chilled. So I'm excited to try that. He got me two of the COSRX um, things. This is the Centella Water Alcohol Free Toner, and this is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I have recently tried this brand and I've really, really liked them, so I cannot wait to try out more products. They're um, cost effective. Again, they're available on, like, I think at Ulta and on Amazon and probably elsewhere. Really, really good products. Um, I'm excited to add that to my skin care regimen and then lastly he didn't realize that he bought kind of two of the same things but he got me two different commodity um like scent space edits and the exploration kit commodity i have loved trying out their perfumes um and i just think that they're such a cool brand and so he got me this little like stocking stuffer one but then he also picked up this jumbo bad boy that has like all the scents and all of their like um, strengths, if I can get it open. So it comes with all of the different scents and they go from like, um, does it go from bold to what? It goes from personal to ex personal to expressive to bold, um, with all different scent profiles. And I already have milk, the full size version and love it. I think it's such a unique scent and smells so incredible and I always get compliments on it. And I've been wanting to try out more of the commodity brand. And so I'm so pumped. Um, I can, it already just smells so good with not even spraying anything. It's just, I think this brand is so cool. Uh, this is something that my mom picked up. I've shared something similar with you guys in the past. I actually think last Christmas. Um, and it is a migraine relief cap. I get really bad migraines, um, typically hormonal related migraines. And um, you can use this for hot therapy and cold therapy. And I loved mine, but then we moved and I've lost it. I can't find it anywhere. And I have since definitely had many a migraine and this thing is life changing. So if you have really bad migraines or headaches, um, this is so freaking cool. You can put it in the microwave for the hot therapy or you put it in your fridge um, to chill for just a, like 20 minutes or so. And then that, that has been honestly life-changing for me. The cold therapy is incredible and there's like a compression to it. So it just feels like it's like taking a lot of the pressure off. Oh my gosh, so good. Highly recommend one of these for headache sufferers in your life. The last number of items are all gadget related. 
Um, I have been wanting a coffee mug warmer because I get distracted and busy and my coffee gets cold very quickly and I will continue to drink cold coffee for the rest of the day and my husband thinks it's absolutely disgusting but I would prefer, especially when it's cold outside and if I am drinking hot coffee, to have it warmed. So um, he found me this coffee mug warmer and I'm really excited to try it and see if it works because that will be very, especially like on my little table, I just have my little mug warmer sitting there with me. Oh, so excited. My mom gifted me this smartphone car mount. I really needed this, I'm really excited about it. Um, and it's a little suction one, so it's just gonna go on my dash, but I, I needed a car mount for a long time, so I'm excited. Um, to get to using that. My husband picked me up his JBL Clip 4 Bluetooth speaker. Um, this is something that can, it's waterproof so it can go in the shower, you can take it out and about outside with you. Um, and it has like a little integrated carabiner so you can like, like clip it onto things, which I think is really gosh darn cool, and so you can like hang it in the shower. Um, and this makes me really excited because I have a lot of anxiety bringing my phone in the shower but I can't hear outside of it when I place it like right on its ledge can't hear it very well so I'm excited to be able to keep it safe and not get water damage in it but still hear enough when I like I like listening to audiobooks in the shower or when I'm doing like an everything shower or my music and so I'm excited plus this will be nice for the summertime going near and around the pool clipping it in places I'm excited we have already a JBL speaker and I've loved it I've had it for years and years and I've loved it so I know that this will be um, something else that's used and loved by many people in the family. And then lastly, this is something that I had really wanted and was really excited about, and it is the Canon IV Mini Photo Printer. Um, I love like bookmarks, and I a lot of times use pictures and photos for bookmarks. I also like obviously like photos around me, um, and I just thought this was such a cool concept. I loved the idea of having like an Instastax camera and stuff, but um, even more so to be able to like have pictures I've already taken off my phone or um, being able to create like little bookmarks or sayings and stuff like I do in Canva. That would be so much fun. So I'm so excited um, that he gifted me this. And then he also gifted me some of the photo sheets. And then he gifted me um, a pack of little like frames and they're so cute and they even have like little ledge to stand up and I can't wait to like decorate them around in my um, bookshelf and it came with a large pack of different multicolored frames so this is going to be so much fun and I can't wait to use it um this is a gift that I'm definitely really 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 pumped about Oh, lastly, he also gifted me a mobile phone um, LED light. It just clips on to your phone, and it's just this big old square with a bunch of LEDs, so it just brightens up any space, which is really nice when it's dark outside or if you're filming and you just need some more direct light. I love, I'm, I, this has been something that I've wanted for a number of years now, um, and definitely as like a content creator, it will come in handy, and even as a mom, because I like to take pictures of my kids when they're going to school in the morning, if they're having like fun dress up days at school and stuff, um, and a lot of time it's just not very bright outside, so this will be perfect to help illuminate um, their cute little faces in the morning. All right, the last two gifts are really special gifts that I'm so like thankful and excited about. The first one is this Taylor Swift Speak Now snow globe. If you know anything about Taylor Swift snow globes, they're pretty hard to get your hands on and they, a lot of times people like buy a bunch of them and hoard them and then sell them for astronomical prices. But she recently dropped um, during her like big holiday sale, a bunch of her snow globes. And this was a new release and I am so excited that I got it. It is so pretty. I love this one. I know a lot of people were like in love with the design, but I love her like speak now um, photo frame that she kind of took back her, her speak now um, and her or speak now records, you know what I'm saying, speak now records, but also, you know, just like that time in her life with Taylor's version, and it plays the whole song, but I don't want to play it because I don't want to get copyright, but it's beautiful, and I'm so excited. I really want to add to the collection um, of her snow globes, but they are pricey and hard to get, um, unless you can snag one on her website when she drops them. And then, my husband was so sweet, and he got me the little right where you left me book nook um, off of Etsy that I shared with you guys um, and it is so cool it has little chairs and the little like dining table with the spilt wine glass 
oh my gosh i want to add to this now i want to get like more like photo frames and put stuff in it but it's so cool again he found this off of etsy from um one of the like taylor swifty <laughs> from the swifty uh group of that i am on facebook and i was so excited it lights up it even has a timer and it just fits perfectly like the color match is perfect with my bookshelf so it kind of just like hides perfectly in its little nook oh my gosh i'm so excited i think it's so cool so that is it that was a lot i am very 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 grateful and very 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 lucky this year was a wonderful christmas not because of the gifts that i got but we had a wonderful christmas it was relaxing and beautiful and um i'm really thankful for my family and the time that we got to share with each other this year i hope for those of you who also celebrated christmas or any other holidays and festivities that you had um going around going on during this time that you um enjoyed yourself as well i know that this time of year can be really hard for a lot of people um and just know that i'm thinking about you i am holding that space for you and i'm so glad that you're here i hope you enjoyed this video and many more to come in the next year i can't wait to continue to create more content for you guys and um if i don't see you until next year happy new year and i will uh, i'll see you soon bye guys